Whoever told you Pokemon are not real lied to you. What is this? Today we are going to be looking at some of the strangest animals ever. And if you see an animal or insect that you have never seen in this video today, you have to hit that like button and subscribe instantly if you're not subscribed already. That way you can become a member of the Sky Squad. All right, this is called the Venezuelan Poodle Moth. This literally looks like a poodle. <laughs> He's so cute. This species was literally discovered in 2009 and it almost looks like an alien moth. He's so cute. Look at his little moth feet. Oh my gosh. I mean, sure, they're super cute, but I wonder what happens if you encounter them after midnight. Do they turn into a moth wolf? Do they turn into a were moth? This literally looks like a little Furby if it had wings and if Furbies were cute. Now introducing the Gallicus Atlanticus. Even the name sounds beautiful for this elegant creature. Look how beautiful this is. All right, nobody can tell me that this isn't a Pokemon. Like seriously, that is a Pokemon, straight up. What do you guys think it is? It's also known as the blue dragon. And believe it or not, these are actually sea slugs. Like what? That straight up is the sea slug of the model world. Like that is a super model slug. Like out of all the slugs you have, that is the most beautiful slug I have ever seen in my entire life. They are a beautiful slug, but unfortunately, they're extremely poisonous and they actually eat man of wars, like the jellyfish. This is called the Dumbo Octopus. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. The Dumbo Octopus is an umbrella octopus found all around the world. Its name actually comes from the Disney character Dumbo because of its little ears. Aww. He is so cute. He even has a little trunk. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. That is the cutest octopus I've ever seen. So take a look at the picture again. I'm kind of seeing Pikachu. Are you not? Like, like a little weird version of Pikachu? <laughs> this fish is literally like the weirdest fish I think I've ever seen in my entire life. It's called the Macropina Microstoma. And it literally lives 2,000 feet below water. Like that's pretty deep. All the weird fish are so deep in the ocean. They don't wanna deal with any humans. They must be the smart fish. So they basically just float around motionless in, in the depths of the sea. Whoa. And it literally has a transparent fluid filled dome head. Like what? If you look close, you literally can see the eye lenses on this fish. Like, is that what a fish's brain looks like? I think I see a little alien guy inside of it controlling it. Is this an alien spaceship? That's why it's clear. He needs to be able to see where he's steering. I totally could imagine a little alien in there. <laughs> Here is probably the cutest little dolphin you have ever seen. Oh my God, this is a dolphin. Come on, where's the dolphin beak? Like, where did it go? Did it fall off? Do you need help, little guy? I can get a pool in my backyard where you can come over to my house. <laughs> so this is a Irrawaddy dolphin. He even has a cute name. And you can find him in Southeast Asia. And they're most known for having the round face and no beak. Tell me why this dolphin kind of looks like it's giving me the side eye. Looking at this dolphin from a different angle, he's looking at me like, I know what you did last summer. He's looking a little creepy now. All right, Dolphin, leave me alone. I said you were cute. Stop staring at me, please. You keep staring at me. All right. Whoever told you Pokemon are not real lied to you. What is this? What is, what is this? I've never seen this before in my life. This is the Lowland Staked Tenrec. And he looks like he's a really angry little hedgehog. He is yellow, dude. Tell me this isn't the evolved version of Pikachu. Pikachu. So apparently this is some sort of like insect mammal. This looks like a, a wingless bumblebee that's been mixed with a mouse. They live in Madagascar, Africa. Instead of having a big stinger on his butt, he has big stingers all over his whole body. Imagine if that was real. Well, it is, it's right here. This is called the red-lipped batfish. I didn't know people's grandmas have evolved into a fish because that is the shade is slightly grandma-esque, at least mine. These live on the Galapagos Island and believe it or not, I mean, I don't think you would ever be able to tell, but they're bad swimmers. I mean, what are they swimming with? They actually use their pectoral fins to walk along the bottom of the ocean. It looks like that fish got into someone's makeup bag again. I wonder if they walk around trying to kiss all the fish. 
He's really cute though. He's kind of cute. It's like ugly but cute at the same time. Kind of like me. No, I'm, just, I'm joking, I'm joking. This beautiful fish, the most beautiful fish I think I've seen in my entire life. Look at that vibrance. This is called a blue parrot fish. And oh my gosh, dude, that fish is crazy blue. This bright blue fish can be found in the shallow waters of tropical and subtropical parts of the West Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. I really hope this guy put this beautiful fish back into the water because it's so beautiful. Like you can't eat that. Like don't eat him. He's so sweet. He could be your friend. This little cutie right here is called the glass frog and I'm going to show you why in a second. Oh my god, you literally can see every organ of this frog. Like how is that possible? Why don't they use these frogs in the classroom instead of dissecting them? You literally can just look at all the organs and you can see them work. I think that these should be more widely available so we don't have to kill them. It kind of reminds me of my transparent Nintendo 64. I had the green Nintendo 64 that was the Donkey Kong version and I'm getting those vibes right now. This animal right here is so unique that they literally don't even have a classification for what it is. This is called a fossa and it's a cat-like mammal that lives in Madagascar but its classification has been controversial because it physically resembles a cat but other traits suggest relation to viverdis I don't even know what a viverdis is what is a viverdis it sounds like a sauce that I would put on my burrito this is literally the cutest ant I have ever seen. This is called a panda ant. Oh, these are real? Like, we don't deserve this earth. This earth lets us see the all these unique creatures. We don't deserve it. Like, a panda ant. Panda ant. Panda, 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 panda ant. So I guess we're lied to. I'm reading the description right now, and it actually isn't just an ant. It's not even an ant. It's a wingless wasp. And I can see it now. It does look like a wasp. Oh, so it's not actually that cute. It can bite you. I mean, 10 out of 10, that absolutely was designed by Tim Burton. Tim Burton is like one of my favorite directors ever. So I renamed this the Tim Burton Wasp. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now and become a member of the Sky Squad. I love you guys. Hit the like button too right now. Boom, do it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.